What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about The Babysitter 3. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about Chucky Season 3. And we'll close this out by talking about Friday the 13th. So just to start it off with uh, The Babysitter 3, Joseph Nickel had an interview with Comic Book recently where he was asked about The Babysitter 3, stating, yeah, we're still talking about it. It was fun. The first movie obviously gave Samara Weaving to the world, and the second movie was Jenna Ortega. Hopefully we can answer the call and find a third star that reaches those lofty heights. Now, honestly, for me, it's been a while since I have watched or revisited those two films. I just remember enjoying them, and Samara Weaving's character was part of a cult. And she made a surprise appearance in the sequel. Jenna Ortega did a fine job in the sequel. It was during the process of when everybody said, oh, I have to check out Jenna Ortega to get an understanding of who she is before Scream 5, even though a lot of us already knew who she was. Because I, I would argue for many of us, the breakout performance for Jenna Ortega, even if you're someone who remembered her from Disney Channel, was when she appeared on You Season 2. So I liked seeing her in The Babysitter. But when they're talking about like bringing in another name or somebody they can draw attention to, I'm thinking about Sadie Sink appearing in this franchise. That's just me. I'd say put the spotlight on Sadie Sink. If her Stranger Things schedule, of course, would allow. Sydney Sweeney would be an option as well, but she's big enough, I'd say. So Sadie Sink is who I'd take out of those two, plus a plethora of other stars I'm just not considering because the first person that came to mind was just Sadie Sink in The Babysitter 3. But what would you guys like to see in The Babysitter 3? Are you even down to see a Babysitter 3? Do you not even care for The Babysitter movies? Let me know down in the comment section below. Jumping into what we're going to discuss here today related to Scream 7. So Scream 7, we know, got an update countless times throughout the day on wednesday we had the bombshell on tuesday with melissa barrera and spyglass being soft then on wednesday night we got this creative rehaul being confirmed by variety jasmine brown and mason gooding were writ originally written into variety's article as having deals but it was edited out shortly after however why did this happen well many of you have pointed out that jasmine and mason don't even follow paramount on instagram anymore but i don't know if they ever did to be honest because i don't have time to pay attention to those things if jasmine isn't back i can most definitely see it being blamed on her obligations for yellow jackets 3 which according to sinistelf and i've talked about this on my channel before would take priority over a scream 7. mason not being back is likely just going to come up come down to the creative rehaul that completely likely will eliminate the core four because why even bring them that to why even bring them back to begin with when you don't have chad and mindy's friends involved sarah or tara and uh sam why bring them back the whole thing is just upside down i've said it before and i'll say, I'll say it again stand by it sydney's story was done as far as what we were being given under this current administration it seems that we are reverting back completely to sydney though I don't know. I just think that they are in very deep trouble with this movie if Nev doesn't sign on. And I don't mean from a financial standpoint. Obviously, I'm not going to undermine Scream as a draw still with, within the, the realm of horror and the appeal that it still has. I just think creatively they would be in trouble if Nev doesn't sign on. Sure, you could do a Gale-centric movie, a Kirby-centric movie, all of these centric-ass movies. But the fact of the matter is, even if it's still in line with the rest of the movies we've gotten and it's just a plain sequel focusing on a, another character once again it's gonna feel slightly disjointed scream would still be one of the most consistent franchises out there but spyglass looks like they're working overtime to make sure that streak is over that's where my, my current stance is when it comes to them i still think and hope that they sell the rights i don't see them doing that but that is my hope now diving into chucky season three Chucky season three is ready to resume filming, according to post on Instagram from Don Mancini. Uh, he's already started making posts, as you see here in this image. We again know that several episodes of part two have been filmed, courtesy of that promo package we got after the mid-season finale in Halloween. And the rest of the episodes just have to be completed, and hopefully this means it will air sometime before Halloween of 2024. Jennifer Tilly put up a post as well, I believe. Devin Sawa's been arguing with Chucky on Twitter again, so we are most definitely back. We know part two will deal with Chucky's aging process and role in modern pop culture. And we know that they undoubtedly are going to, Devin and Jake anyway, will be going to Dr. Rosen, Chucky's witch doctor we met in the earlier part of the season, episode three to be exact. But here's the thing I wanted to bring up because I've heard some stuff. How does Chucky season three 
end well allegedly from what i've heard this season is less open-ended than the first two but we'll see if that's true and of course if it is true i will let you guys know i will find out before they air do my best to find out and what i want to recall everybody or remind everybody of is how the first two seasons have ended season one ended with i what i think was the tiffany doll meeting andy while he's driving the truck full of dolls away so it's left open ended there because we don't have a resolution and then season two ended with tiffany screaming for her life as chucky reveals himself in drag as she puts it so there's definitely a trend of cliffhanger endings or open-ended endings from those first two seasons and from what i've heard season three won't be like that i don't know how it ends but it, it seems like season three will have a more definitive end as opposed to season one and two this kind of also lowers my chances or lowers my belief that a season four will happen also the belief of a season four not happening isn't rooted in not wanting it as much as it's rooted in me paying attention to what is happening in hollywood because i was also for my scream fans i was one of the people talking to some of you saying it's possible that scream 7 could be completely reshaped by the time this is all said and done and look where we're at now chucky season four it could not happen and knowing that they apparently don't want to do an open-ended ending for season three and it's going to possibly more definitive kind of leads me to believe it even more so that we're not going to get a season four we could teeter off back into the film series but we'll see now we're going to wrap this up here with friday the 13th so sinistel tweeted this about the friday the 13th uh franchise or gave us an update regarding the tv show that's coming he said there have been talks about how to handle the recent accusations against brian fuller looking like he will stay could be joined by another veteran horror writer who has been giving us hits since the 80s we'll update if i hear more now i will say that i was chimed in on who this veteran writer allegedly is and if it's true i'm going to be very excited i will be very excited some of you will be excited when you find out who this person is if it's true and if the name is announced i will say if that was the name i heard or not just gonna have to wait and see but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video